Well, hey everybody. Oh yeah, look what the cat's drug up. It's Rip One Outdoors. Y'all, if it looks like on the GoPro, it looks like it's dark. No, it's not. It's just cloudy and, and to tell you the truth, it just come a shower. I've been sitting around waiting all day long. I like I like to do my videos when the sun's shining, but you know what? Hey, there's some blue sky right up there with some buzzards flying around. All right, let's do a quick check. I got rear view camera on. There you go. Yep. Everything looking good here, so we good to go. I am riding. I bet y'all thought I forgot about it. I am riding my Magic Cycle Cruiser. The first and foremost is the one that brought me into the hobby. Talk about that for a minute. I I see so much uh, positive vibes coming from the Facebook site. But every once in a while, you'll see somebody that's got a little problem. And they just go on there and they trash Magicycle. And I, I, I guess that bothers me. Because I knew that I had a problem one time. And they did everything in their power to help me. There's a little bit of sunshine peeping through. All right, Mr. Buzzard. Get on out the way here. But yeah, this is the first one that brought me into the hobby. I watched, uh, today I watched a video that Southern E-Biking put out about about what should you know what you consider the first bike you buy and all this stuff had some good excellent comments on there from other guys Pedro Joe others I love reading the comments and I, and I tell you they're they're good comments because the guys that make them they have they have some uh, good technical insight into the questions or comments and and they're able to offer comments themselves and uh, I learn a lot from reading the comments I really do here comes somebody who's got his he got that hood tied down with a string <laughs> that's a picayune hood latch there y'all got a string holding it down <laughs> Yeah, let's get on down the road though. Do about 90 miles an hour with that thing with a string holding the hood. <laughs> yeah, as we said, we're on the Magic Cycle Cruiser. We're going to try to get out and take a little ride between the showers. I, I went out a while ago. My wife looked out. She said, look, the sun shining. I said, well, good. I'm fixing to strap on my helmet. And I'm going to go make a video. And by the time I got my helmet on, it was raining again. <laughs> ah, there's that old seat and the toilet there. Yeah, yeah we was uh, showing on another video that we made there. I mean, look how much better the county has made this road look. They've done some cleanup. Got some weeds nice green weeds growing on the side of the road i mean it don't look bad yeah come a pretty good shot we're over here so where are we going we're gonna ride well i tell you i hope we don't get wet but we're gonna ride over to the airport and see how this big parking lot's coming that the airport's building that they're building uh chevron's building it over by the airport Y'all, my old Magic Cycle Cruiser. This thing, I got 1,133 miles on it right now. And y'all, it just keeps on, keeps on kicking. It is a sweet bike. Somebody asked me today, uh, yesterday, like, yeah, last night, on my, one of my original Magic Cycle Cruiser asked me, about it and how many miles i thought it would go and all i love telling about it because it's it's just that good a bike 
you filter through all of my videos you'll see a lot of good stuff about the Magicycle Cruiser it's been good to me <clears throat> anyway I want to get into the first topic as y'all seen by the thumbnail me and my wife went today and we sat down I went and bought some crawfish Yeah, crawfish is starting to come in come in season. Here comes FedEx. I wonder if he's got my bike. I've been waiting on. Uh, probably not. But yeah, crawfish is coming in season. And went up to a little place here called in Lest called Lester's here in Picayune and bought about 15 pounds, I tell you. My wife can put us some crawfish away and me and her both we love to I can eat about five pounds that's about that's about my limit so she probably eat about six pounds and we hauled out about another pound there we hauled out the other four or five pound that was left whatever we hauled them out for the grandson because he likes he likes to eat them How many of you, so that's my question to y'all. How many of my viewers has has never had boiled crawfish before? Boiled crawfish. I put some pictures here. I tell you what, it's a big deal around here. I don't know how many, I don't know how many gozillion dollar worth of business that is created in South Louisiana from crawfish. That's where they're grown. They 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 uh they grow them down in the rice fields, rice fields of uh, South Louisiana, down around uh I mean over around toward Lafayette and uh, cut off. I, I mean I don't know about all them towns. Tom T, he's from Louisiana. Maybe he can tell us. But yeah. Dude, the road's 20 foot wide. You're going to take all 20 foot. Anyway, back to the crawfish. Yeah, they're grown down in South Louisiana, especially around the rice fields and all. And they plant stuff in those fields for those crawfish to eat. And when they flood those fields in a certain time of the year, them crawfish, they get in that water and that's where they they raise. And they raise their little ones in there. And then, whenever they're big enough to harvest, they got these specialized boats that they don't use outboard motors. They use motors that's got a paddle on the back it's a steel paddle and all it does is just just grip the ground the mud and propels the boat forward like that i realize it might get kind of dark through here y'all but hopefully it'd be okay but yeah crawfish that's a big deal man people buy them by the sack and they boil them up. The restaurants, they serve them. And I'm going to tell you, if you look at them, you look at them. They are the ugliest creature that's made. That lives on the earth, face of the earth. It is the ugliest creature. And I'm going to tell you, it... I don't know how it would taste without all the seasoning. But when you get this Louisiana seasoning in them that's made from the cayenne pepper and the salt and oh man, whatever all, oh, I don't know. They throw everything but the kitchen sink in that thing for... I always believed 
that you could boil a pine cone in crab ball and eat that thing or crawfish ball and now you'd say oh that's the best that's the best pine cone i ever eat i'll tell you a little story old justin wilson told and talk about what all people eat down in the south you know in the south people eat it practically anything especially down in south louisiana i'll tell on them folks but old justin wilson he said there was this crawfish that took its children took them children out for a walk one day and they was walking along this old mama crawfish and two or three two or three of its little one and they come across a possum and them kids says mama what is what is <laughs> what is that critter there and she said oh you don't worry about them that's a possum that possum ain't gonna hurt nothing it won't bother you and they walked a little bit further and there was a skunk one of the kids said it has to mama crawfish said, mama what is what is that what is that critter there she told him said oh that's a skunk said other than being smelly it ain't gonna hurt you and they went a little bit further and there was Boudreaux they come across Boudreaux <laughs> and Boudreaux was running his traps and one of the babies said mama what would, what kind of a critter is that she said run for your lives that's a coon ass that he'll eat anything <laughs> yeah that old Justin Wilson story there I mean he did a better job than me I can't I can't imitate a Cajun because I'm not a Cajun but I love to hear them Cajuns talk yeah let's ease out by the airport and see what's going on we ain't been out here in a few days a little bit of sunlight poking through but yeah uh, when I was a cop here we go back with the cop stories again but when I was a cop I went I used to work by the project some some project houses sometimes and I'm gonna tell you there's one thing that I learned is I knew what a crawfish ball smelled like you can smell it for a mile okay if you get downwind from a crawfish ball I went I ride that cruiser through them through them neighborhoods and all and I could smell a crawfish ball and I said okay I might have to uh, uh, Mr. John would know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have to get out here and do a little bit of walking talk. Walking talk is where you get out with the people and you just mingle with the people and you do a little public relations stuff, okay? Well, I'd go by and I see some guys and I knew them and they'd holler and told me, hey, just about 15 minutes we're gonna bring them up. I said, okay, that'll give me time to run down here and patrol a little bit and I'd come back by. Some of the finest eating I ever had was sitting down with them and, and eating some good crawfish. And they put everything in the pot. The crawfish ball is, is probably 50% crawfish and the other 50% the other of what you look forward to eating is, let's, let's name them off here, the corn, the, the Irish potatoes, the wieners, I throw I mean whatever you want to throw in there uh, Vienna sausages <laughs> now up there those folks had chicken feet they had pig ears they had what else pig knuckles pig feet you might remember what I said anything you throw in there it's going to soak up that seasoning and y'all we talking about i can't begin to i can't begin to describe that kind of that kind of good my goodness y'all what a parking lot that's a lot of limestone right there
Y'all know me and limestone, okay? So I'm going to be very careful here. In fact, I'm not even going out in there because it's kind of loose and it's not packed down. But that's going to be a big parking lot there. Well, there's my jet sitting over there, y'all. Actually, I think that's I think that's Bruce's jet. I just watching him on a video there uncovering another box <laughs> and doing another review on some uh, hiokey. Hiokey. So Bruce decided he's got too many of them things, so he decided he's gonna run a couple of them out here to me on the on the jet there. <laughs> Yeah, I sat while I was waiting on to see what this weather was going to do. I sat in there watching him unbox one and uh, go through all the ordeal. Good, good job, Bruce. Good job. We just, we love you, man. We just, we just are uh, having a little fun. Well, he come inside. They put another cupboard in here. Boy, howdy, them crawfish. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, them things is good. Yes, sir. You can throw anything and everything in them crawfish uh sausage sausage uh smoked sausage fresh sausage patty sausage I, d I don't care just throw it in there it's gonna soak up that that crawfish seasoning and man 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 i went to uh virginia beach y'all i was working in ammunition i told y'all about this i was I was uh, working with a little company with manufacturing ammunition and I went to a seminar up at Virginia Beach to learn all about ballistics. I got up there, somebody I told somebody told I told somebody there at the hotel, I said, well you should be able to get some of the best seafood in the world right here in Virginia Beach, right here on the on the Atlantic Ocean. Is that correct? And they said you can go right over there across the street over there a little seafood restaurant I went over there and you believe it or not what they had on a little buffet deal they had some boiled crawfish and it taste it tasted they didn't they must have had steamed them or something or another they didn't have no taste to them they were hot but they had no taste no flavor not even any salt and I'm like, oh man, somebody needs they, somebody somebody needs to come from South Louisiana and come up here and teach these people how to how to season the crawfish. But yeah, crawfish is a big industry around here. What else? Catfish. Catfish, fried catfish. That is a huge industry in Mississippi. I don't know how I can't remember the numbers I've told y'all several times before but I can't remember the numbers it's like it's like 40% uh, I believe of the catfish that's supplied to the United States comes from up in North Mississippi in the Delta around Itabina and then over around just south of Tupelo yes sir Catfish, and then down on you down on the Gulf, you go down around past Christian and uh, Gulfport, all around the harbors there where the uh, shrimp are coming in. There you go, got them fine Gulf shrimp. So, like this big restaurant that opened back up here by by Walmart at Chafalaya Seafood, they got it all from what I understand. I think we're gonna kick up the speed here just a little bit y'all I've been cruising around about 16 we're gonna kick it on up about 18 19 of course you know we got our 11 uh, 28 free wheel on here so I'm not doing any ghost pedaling I can tell you that everything feels good I got a good I got a good tight bond on them uh, on them pedals you know got some got some good restriction there
yeah so me and susan we sat down and had us some crawfish i told her i said take some pictures i said i want to show our friends our viewers some crawfish i realize there's some of y'all from down here in the south i don't know i mean y'all tell me does people up north eat crawfish do y'all y'all get them like like we do just wonder some people might look at them and say my goodness what are you going to do with something that ugly yeah bring them to me i'll show you what we do with them that's some fine stuff. Well, I got a nice little uh, Southern e-biking had his mileage challenge. I didn't think I was actually gonna do anything at all in it. But hey, I appreciated having him having it and I appreciated having the fact that the uh, ability that I could ride in it that was right in the middle of when I was having my sciatica nerve problem but that, I still managed to get out and ride some before maybe before and after there and uh, I got some mileage logged but he put me in the top five and sent me a nice award trophy ribbon and I'm gonna put a picture of it right here so y'all can see that I tell you something that I think he might have made these. It may be his little business. I don't know. I hope I'm not right or wrong about that, Blaine. But y'all did an excellent job on that. And uh, my grandson likes it. You know why? Because why? Because that's the New Orleans Saints cover colors, black and gold. I'm not a big Saints fan, but my grandson is. And that's the first thing he saw. He thought it was something to do with the New Orleans Saints. <laughs> but yeah, we enjoyed riding and uh, we look forward to another one. Y'all, I'm so happy with my old Magicycle Cruiser. You know, I thought about maybe coming up with a price and trying to sell it here a while back, but you know, I'm not going to do it. I love this old bike. This thing ain't even broke in yet, y'all. 1138 miles. It ain't even broke in yet. And I hear so many people whining about, oh, I've got 200 miles on my tires and they wore out already. I'm like, come on. Let me show you what a tire. Let me show you what a tire looks like with 1138 miles on it. We still got plenty of tread. Hey, uh, just gonna say welcome to all the new viewers. We fixing to shut her down here. I tell you what, let's do. Let's ride down by the pasture and then we'll shut her down down there. We just gonna say welcome to the new viewers. There's new subscriptions almost every day now. And uh, it's just kind of trickling in and I, uh, new people I see uh, my snow video the one I did about the snow taking the snow off your roof I had a guy from New Hampshire uh, give us a good insight on that he was a first time commenter and I want to welcome him and uh, yeah good to, good to have these folks we hope we can uh, offer up a little bit of this old southern hospitality to y'all and uh and make you feel good for coming and watching and maybe learn a little bit a few things about the south like you've learned something about some crawdads today and i'm sure if i could if i could come to your neighborhood that you could uh educate me on some on some uh things so yeah we just say welcome to all y'all and we appreciate y'all watching y'all know the routine if you decide you want to buy one of them magic cycle bikes and i wouldn't blame you if you did they're some excellent bikes uh hey 
use that link in my description once you're in the site you can use my one of my codes there and get you a little discount and we appreciate you doing it we make a little commission off of it we take that commission we turn it right around and we buy things cameras uh, I just I just bought three hundred and twenty nine dollar microphone uh, wireless microphone set DJI so we're gonna be using a wireless mic here for too long and uh, we look forward to that there goes the ball eagle y'all no that ain't a ball eagle that's that's a buzzard that's a ball buzzard but the ball eagle nest is right to my left here one day if, if I could slip over in there and walk down in there I could show him to y'all yeah they got a nest and and she's sitting on the nest but it's been good having y'all with us today y'all hit that like and subscribe if you will and if you don't hey don't worry about it we appreciate you watching crossing old alligator branch here y'all we enjoyed having y'all with us today and hey if you round some crawfish get you some and enjoy them good old louisiana delicacy rip one outdoors we'll catch y'all on the next one